Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back and this is going to be a much different video to my normal videos. For today, I'm going to be doing the video that I told you I was going to be doing in my 44 Optimus slash Jetfire review. I can't remember which one it was, but today we will be, I will be showing you how to combine 44 slash 32 Optimus to Jetfire. Now, there's one key important thing you're going to need. This, which this comes with 32 Optimus slash Jetfire. This is the one came with Jetfire. And before anything, you of course need to take off his weapons. Um, I will be showing a little bit, um, I'll be showing a few tricks in a different video, such as how to fix the jetpack to make it look more accurate, and how to do stuff like what I just did. So basically, you want to open up these parts, you want to simply just pull out this, and then put this in like so. And I'm probably going to leave it like that for a little while, but... That's it for that, and this has no purpose in it, so we're good for that. Now, when it comes to combining, um, we'll start. We'll do one step at a time. So you want to start off by closing up his legs, like you would change him into vehicle mode, like that. And then the only other thing to change around is the back. You want to simply just untab this, bring these pieces out. Then there's these little gray pieces right here that you want to fold out all the way out. They, they basically work as locks. So you basically just want to do that. Fold that around. And like that. Okay, and then you just want to fold this down, fold this down. And then I, I personally just leave it like that. So... That's it for Prime for now, so let's focus on Jet Fire. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do this weapons first. For the cane, you wanna fold it down, and fold it down again, and this is gonna work as like that side gun on Prime's arm. And there's this big old tab right here that'll go into this, this big old tab, this will go into this big old slot right here. Oh. So you simply just wanna get it in there. Some of these tabs are really snug. So you gotta like really give it some pressure, but that's it for this gun. And now, um, I think we're gonna focus on the legs first since they're probably the easiest part. But before we do anything, you're gonna take these pieces, you're going to snap them off, get the head in position. You want to bring everything up. You wanna basically extend him out and then right on this middle section right here, you simply just want to put your thumb here. Wait, yeah. Put your thumb right here and just... Actually, what I just... I just say split them in half. So, here we have the top half and we're actually going to pull off this entire front cockpit section. And this is going to act as the main gun, but we'll get to that later. For this, all you got to do is just... Split it in half. Come on. Come on. Yeah, sometimes this thing doesn't want to split. You just got to get in there. Ah, there we go. And these go on these little tabs inside the shoulders. So simply just tab them in right there. They are very much oversized, which is why I'm most likely going to get the upgrade kit. Because that's, I really wanted to get the upgrade kit due to the arms and like the uh, quality of the, of the uh, jet powered prime. But that's it for that. So let's move on to this. And this is actually two parts. This is the legs for the um, combined form. Then this is the entire jet pack. So we'll get to the jet pack soon. For the legs, you want to simply just fully extend them out. You, I recommend folding this piece out and then you just want to <coughs> pull it out. We'll do one leg at a time. So you want to open this up, fold this back here, rotate this up, rotate this up, fold down this piece, and boom. And now, this is going to go in right here. There's this big old slot right there that'll go into this tab. 
So simply just tab that in and then you can fold that in, fold this in and then there's a little peg that will go into that little slot right there. So just line it up and boom. So that'll solidify that. Okay, you just want to do the same thing for this side. And for the record, this is not just going to be a combining video, this is also going to be a review. So, it's been a bit of time since I've done a review, so I figured I'd do this. After all, I do have a couple figures that I've actually bought in from Big Bad Toy Store. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to Big Bad Toy Store. Definitely make sure you go check it out, because a couple figures that I'm going to be reviewing, I did get from that store, and... They have some very impressive quality when it comes to shipping. Like when it comes to shipping and the figures themselves, the quality is great. So there we go. That is the legs completely done. And it does definitely give him some more height. It definitely 100% gives him a lot more height than, it, than an actual rollout mode. Now, as for the jetpack, you basically want to kind of convert it back into its alt mode. So we're going to start by folding this entire piece out so we can fold in these little winged tips right there. Get these pieces out of the way so that we can split his lower section in half, fold it out. You want to fold this down, fold this up, fold the piece that connected it up. You want to fold out these pieces. You want you want these pieces to be sticking out from the below, and then you, you want these jetpacks to stick out on top. And then we'll deal with these when we actually attach it, So, which is what we're going to do right now. So you're going to come to the back, and these two slots right here will go into these two slots right here. So you're going to move the arms out of the way so you can do this. Basically just... Go ahead and line it up. Line it up. What, what's going on? Oh, shoot. Okay, hold up. I think you're supposed to untap the back and fold it up. Let me try that. Well, no, I mean, there's a little gap for it. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it up. Like that for now, just just for now. Okay, so you're just gonna. This is how the um, upgrade kit works. It so I'm just gonna follow that the way that I saw it. The back is a little bit loose, the jetpack at least. So that is where these pieces come in right here. So. You're basically going to connect them onto here by first off connecting them together. And this is probably going to be my least favorite part of the entire combined form because these pieces never want to tap into place. Like, like whether it's on camera or off camera, they never want to snap into place. <sighs> Come on. Oh, did I get it? Yep, I, I think I got it. Alright. So, that is basically the combined form. But it looks weird without the actual main gun. But I'm telling you right now, this... This is a pain. Which is why I will not be showing that because... It's, in, it's what you guys would call irrelevant, so... Yeah, here we have the finished off combined form. And what most people do is that they give Prime Jetfire's axe. So, that's, you got that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow along with my little hack that I do. Which, I'll show you that right now. So, how to put in the sword from the Dark of the Moon 44 Prime. Basically, you want to fold this piece down. Slide that in. And then just close it up so that it locks into place. There you go. So now, you don't even need the 05 Optimus. You could just simply get the upgrade kit 
for the Jetwing Optimus Prime, and you would be set. So there we go. That here we have the Studio Series. Technically, it's 32 and 35 connected, but it's not really 32. There we go. So, this figure, it's, it's big. It's really, really big. Um, for comparison... Here he is with another really big figure, Studio Series Leader Class Shockwave, and whoo, Prime Towers over Shockwave, simply because of the upgrade kit, which I'm hoping the Fallen gets around that type of height, which I'll be doing a review, a video talking about my top 5 most wanted figures in 2021, which that is a spoiler alert, that is one of the figures that I want in 2021. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to be doing many comparisons, I'm just going to be doing, like, one. I'm only going to be doing, like, one, maybe two, so. But, before we get to the rest of them, I just wanted to show you that height before we get into... Okay, I do have a problem. My figure's waist is a little bit loose due to the entire back. I've only done this one other time, and it didn't really work out, so I'm just going to take the sword out for now. You see, because his back's kind of leaning anytime I try to move him a little bit. So, basically, he he can barely fit on the... Hold up, let me... Here, I'm going to raise the camera a little bit so you guys can get a better look. One problem I have with this figure, these. These extend out way too far. If they were shortened to maybe here, then I'd love it. But, in my opinion, they are just way too long. Now, you can, of course, put that out, which basically represents, like, the blaster. And you can, of course, take the actual gun, slip that into there. And now he's got his own blaster from his figure, which, it's it's very cool. Um, I will not be, discont I will not be dis um, taking this guy apart on camera, because that's just going to turn up to be a pain. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, the only reason why this figure is so freakishly tall is simply due to the fact that Jetfire's legs give him 10 times more height. Not really though. But thankfully, a little bit of a shake test. The only leg that's really loose is his left, but even then, it's not that bad. So, yeah, overall this figure is very, very impressive. My favorite part of this entire combined form, the jetpack. I love the jetpack. It's got to be one of my favorite parts. I will be doing a video. I'll be actually, I may as well just do it now. So, we're going to do this real quick. I won't be attaching it though. So, you're going to fold the head up, fold this down. You're basically just going to almost transform it into its actual jet mode. The only difference is that you're actually going to fold these pieces out instead of extending them in you're going to un actually you gotta untab the arms first because if you don't then the that part's either never gonna come off or it's gonna rip the tabs from that so you're gonna fold this up you're going to fold in this piece right here you're going to fold the arms in like that so the pegs are facing forward and then you're just gonna peg in the hands if they don't peg in, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing we can really do about it much. Okay, so now you're gonna fold them all the way in. Fold that in like that. Fold this in like so. Fold, you wanna re-rotate those. You actually wanna rotate it so that this little piece right here is sticking out. That way you can fold, actually, wait. No, 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 no. I think I got this mixed up. 
I think you're supposed to fold it this way, possibly. No, okay. Um, right, yeah, I don't quite... I'm trying to figure this out. I'm pretty sure that there is no area for this to go into. Yeah, that's supposed to go in right there. Boom, I figured it out. So it turns out you're not supposed to fold in the arms all the way. So then you basically just want to fold in these pieces like so. And that is the main gun, but it is missing a piece that comes from Jetfire's, I don't know, legs, shoulders? I don't quite know about that. But yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. We are two subscribers away from 140. So if you guys could get me there, that would be amazing. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Till all are one.